Well, Dr. Oz, he was quite a hit in his Bay Area visit yesterday. Yeah, hundreds of people lining up for the chance to meet him at yesterday's event. And the doc also took some time to check out an innovative new way to do some spinal surgery and see the woman in between the doctor and the other doctor. That's Stacy back there. Oh, He's talking about a scrubs. procedure that's being done right here in Tampa. Stacy's going to share more on that coming up in just a second. We might have heard that Dr. Oz made a house call to Tampa yesterday. He is a rock star in the field of medicine and daytime TV, but also he's still a practicing heart surgeon. I was fortunate to get to spend some time with him in the operating room during his visit. He wanted to see firsthand a new spinal surgery that has Tampa on the cutting edge. Have you ever seen anything like this? I've never seen anything like this. I actually hadn't even heard about it. <laughs> Until I walked in this hospital, which is why, you know, you guys are doing some cool work here. Dr. Oz in scrubs in an operating room is not that unusual. But in a Tampa operating room, learning about an innovative new way to do spinal surgery, that doesn't happen every day. So the way this works is... There's three pins. World-renowned Tampa surgeon Tony Castelvi is showing Dr. Oz how microsurgery, using this tiny little robot smaller than a soda can, is working miracles for people with serious spinal deformities. And, and I, I must say, it's almost unimaginable that you could put a large rod to straighten out someone who's, for example, hunchbacked or has a curvature in their spine without making a massive incision. The patient in this case wasn't real, which allowed Dr. Oz to give the technology a try himself. The tolerances are very small, so we, we, we try not to do what you just did, <laughs> which is which is torque the machine. A little OR humor between two very down-to-earth surgeons. Very fun to watch. Dr. Castelvi admitted to me later, he didn't know much about Dr. Oz before this. Honestly, no. I don't have time to watch daytime television. <laughs> but now? What I found him to be was very refreshing, very down to earth, very much a surgeon, very much a physician, and, and very interested in, in what we were doing. I, I, I was thoroughly impressed with Dr. Oz. For a man who has reached superstar status, Dr. Oz is incredibly humble. It's got to be odd as a doctor. You're suddenly also a superstar of sorts. <laughs> you show up and people want to see you. And if that promotes health, I'm guessing that's good. It does, but you never want to believe your own press. The first thing you learn in medicine, which is truly controlled arrogance, you know, is that when you start believing you're, that, that you're, it's all about you, then you begin to falter. Dr. Oz is a master at taking very complicated medical procedures and breaking them down in a way everyone can understand. He did that as we watched today. His ultimate goal, though, is to have people take a more active role in their own health. So you're all about preventive medicine, not reactive medicine. That's the whole point. But can I define preventive medicine yes. for you? People think preventive medicine is like watching the paint dry, right? It's like watching airplanes land safely. It's not about that. Preventive approaches mean you're making it easy to do the right thing. It means a mom who doesn't bring junk into the house because she knows her kids will get to it. Because I have four kids, I know my kids would beat me up once the food's in the home, but they're not there when I buy the stuff. So if I buy the right things, if I make it easy to get activity because I have to walk to work or to my, you know, get my kids to school, whatever it might be, those little bits of activity will add up over time. So preventive approaches is, are all about automating your life. So making the right decisions is easy. And of course, you can watch Dr. Oz Monday through Friday at 4 o'clock right before our newscast right here on News Channel 8. And he was such a great guy, took all the time in the world, just was really... Touchy-feely there at the end, though. Yeah, he was. He's, He's like, hey, grabbing your hand. Very likable, very charismatic. And what's he going to do with that information? Is he going to do a show? Is he going to talk about it on the air? I asked Dr. Castelvi, you know, you might be getting a call. He might want you to come show that spinal surgery on... His show. And, and, and then, he'll, then he'll be interested in daytime then TV. Then he'll know who it Dr. is. Oz, hey, course. I did put a funny picture from that on our Facebook page. It's actually on my uh, Channel 8 Facebook page. So I want you to pick the caption, but you have to go see the picture. How's is this, that for Is this you in scrubs? It's me in scrubs <laughs> with Dr. Oz and Dr. Castell. Everybody looks good in scrubs, don't they? It's just the look. I didn't have a mirror. <laughs> you look great. News Channel 8 at 530 is coming your way next.